It's not every day you get your boarding pass checked by the head of the airline you're flying with. Rob Fife has always had a hands-on approach as chief executive of Air New Zealand, from personally answering customer questions on Facebook to taking part in the safety demonstration videos. Safety hazard, so the captain says, let's kick butt! For me, it's about expressing a personality. So many CEOs, so many companies try to be very buttoned down and very serious and very corporate. We're trying to be different. We're actually trying to be very human, have a sense of identity, a sense of fun. I'm very creative by nature, entrepreneurial, I love innovation. You're going to be stepping down at the end of the year. Why have you decided to resign? I've got some really good, talented people in my team and if I don't create space for them to grow, then I'll lose them and they'll go somewhere else. A lot of our innovation is in premium economy and economy because we're predominantly a leisure airline. Interestingly, when we looked for a product, we couldn't find a decent product that we liked on the market, so we ended up designing this ourselves. It was right at the back of the plane, though, that was a top priority for Fife. I gave my team the challenge of saying, I want people to be able to lie down an economy, but you can't have any more space per seat. So we've created what we call the sky couch. Do you want to lie there, then? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> this is almost like another class of travel, so it allows us the flexibility. We can sell these as three normal seats, we can sell them as a sky couch, so we can flex the proposition to re reflect the level of demand. It's a far, far more efficient way of running an airline than creating multiple cabins and then finding you don't have enough demand for what one cabin you're upgrading people or you've got too much demand, for example. And has that been a problem since 2008, the financial crisis, um, that there has been inconsistent demand? It, it, it has been. Um, and it's once you've configured an aircraft, you're stuck with it, really. So yeah. that was part of our challenge, to say, how do we create the flexibility to reflect different demand cycles, different times of the year, you know, we get different demand at peak times versus off-peak times and so on, and this is, yeah, we're really thrilled with it actually. It's one of the innovations I'm most proud of of my time in the, in the yeah. airline. From making business class even wider and longer, to reinventing premium economy and enabling the unthinkable lying down in economy, every seat on the aircraft has had a revamp. Uh, have a look in here, it's so cool. Wow! A really simple idea. Aisha Dergahi, CNN, London.